let's start by talking about the idea of the, the grammar of systems. So what's, what's, what is the grammar of systems, Patrick? The grammar of systems is, is a, a list of um, 33 systems, laws and principles. So these are things that have come out of the kind of deep history of systems theory and practice. Um, it's what underpins the sort of better known systems methodologies like system dynamics is built up of a, built from a number of these. And really that the, the idea of it as a grammar is that it's the base concepts within systems thinking and, and, and practice. And when you use them, it becomes a kind of language that, that, that we use. So it, it's the, it's below the level if you think of a, of a methodology like system dynamics uh, uh, as a kind of um, a book or a, or a chapter or, or even a sentence, yeah, this is this is below the level of that. So it's it's the it's the it's the chunks of the of the language, if you like. The clause. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and with that in mind, can you, if you're starting to get into systems thinking and trying to understand. Mm -hmm. how to manage complexity can you start to use bits of the grammar before you've got the complete language yes. under your belt great yeah ab absolutely so i've been using this for uh, several years now um with members of the the the, the um professional body sire um so in in members events we we quite often um run systems laws sessions where you take a topic and you apply and you know pick pick two or three systems laws and apply them to that topic and see what they tell you and it's it's surprisingly easy considering they're, they're quite kind of chunky in a way they're quite they're a really good way to do heavy lifting if that makes sense but i mean there's once you get your head around them a little bit and it's not that hard they're surprisingly easy to use you know and they're they're, they're small enough that um you can deploy them really really fast i mean the first time i i ever dealt with them like that or used them like that was um i had had half an hour at the end of a um a session teaching a bunch of mbas on systems and they were all new to systems but they were you know typical mbas you know smart as whips and um i asked them i gave them half a dozen systems laws and said um try applying that to the financial crash because this was like i don't know a couple of, it was about 2010 so it was a couple of years after the financial crash and um they, they didn't know that much about systems so they, they, this was all new to them um but obviously they knew about finance and they, and they knew about economics and and some of them were in you know were in the finance industry or from the finance in, industry and i said you know apply these to the the financial crash and, and and you know break up into groups pick a law off you go come back in 15 minutes tell us what you found out and you know they, they they come back 15 minutes later and between them they have a compelling joined up narrative of how it happened why it happened why it's likely to happen again you know why these things why, why financial systems crash in the way this one did um and it was a it was a better answer than the economists came up with if you know what i mean <laughs> Very um, good. Yeah. So yeah. so yeah, I, I, okay. and I thought, wow, that's that's really quite impressive for as a an accessible tool, kind of after the accessible box. approach. Yes. You know. Yeah. To, yeah. To deal to to grab it at that that sort of okay um, molecular level, if you like. 